Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a vlog, a very casual vlog. I've been meaning to do this, but I just haven't had the time and I kind of felt like doing it today. In today's video, I'm going to be organizing my entire jewelry collection. So for those of you that are new, hi, I'm Mel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I'm going to be, yeah, rearranging my jewelry and moving it from my walk-in closet to this space in the bedroom behind me. For those of you that do know, I've already shown you my entire closet tour. If you haven't seen that, I will link it above. But my closet hasn't really changed from that tour. So if you want to check it out, you know, you can take a look at that video. And yes, yeah, so I'm just going to move my jewelry from there to here. And I thought, you know, I'll take you along. Maybe you might find this video helpful in terms of jewelry organization, or you just want to see some of the pieces I have. And I'm not even sure how I'm exactly going to organize it, but I thought, you know, it'd be fun to do together. So let's get started. So I'm in my closet. And as you know, currently this is where, oh, it's quite dusty. This is where I store my jewelry. And this is just from Muji and it's great. For those of you that need a space to store your jewelry, I really recommend this. It's just that I've outgrown it a little bit and you can pick different, so that's like my Chanel earrings. You can pick different compartments for different drawers. So this is quite an affordable and practical solution for jewelry. I've just, yeah, I'm just running out of space. So I'm going to take this with me and bring it outside. And I'm just going to fill it up in my new little space. So you guys probably have seen this area before. I have taken pictures of this on Instagram. And this is my Instagram handle here. But this is sort of where I store my perfumes, this sort of unit. And this is actually just from Ikea. It's the mom, but unfortunately they don't sell it anymore. I love it because it looks so much more expensive than it is and I've actually just got four all along the wall so it makes this great really really long sort of uh, storage unit and then here I've got my Megan Hess books these are the Hermes little sketches which I love I was just doing some you know Instagram pictures there so I have got this my unit here my Muji unit and then in here this is where I'll be moving everything to I'm using these compartments called stackers and they just happen to fit perfectly. Well, they didn't. They It's got a bit of space here, and but this is just from Jo Malone, so I put that in there and I'll have some extra space here. If you're wondering, what's that green thing under there? It is actually foam. So I measured this whole unit out and had foam underneath so that this could sit on top so it would be easier access. I'm just going to take all the plastic off and I'm just going to have a little play now. Okay, so I've just ripped all the plastic off. I'm going to start with my earrings. So I'm going to pull it out from here. And this is my Chanel earrings, as you can see. There is quite a lot of them. I've kind of stopped buying Chanel costume jewelry now because I feel like it's not as worth it. And I'm definitely investing more in you know, fine jewelry. I'm kind of being cut off, aren't I? I don't know if you guys can actually even see me. Okay, I think you guys can see me now. It's, um, I'm just trying to, I've just got my camera up on a tripod. So I'm just going to go and have a play and see how I should store my Chanel jewelry. Okay, so that is what it's looking like so far. So I've just kind of done it by black here. And then there's a sort of greens. These are ones that contain pearls. This is gold or well, silver gold. And then these, these two are just kind of put there. I'm not sure. And these are all silver. I actually thought I had more gold, but... I actually do have a lot of gold here. So these are definitely the more statement ones. Love these. These are based off a vintage design. These are my most expensive Chanel earrings. I remember getting these in Paris. Definitely a wow piece. And a couple of my dangly pair. I use these so much. And yeah, I actually haven't bought Chanel earrings in quite a long time. My pearl one, these are dangly pearl ones too. 
yeah i love love these ones these little rose gold pinky ones so as you can see that is my entire chanel earring collection there's still space here and i've still got quite a few more earrings to go so let's just keep on going Apartment. This is my very small Van Cleef and Arpels collection. So I've only got two pairs of earrings, the Magic in uh, the Malachite and the two motif uh, Alumbra with Tiger's Eye and the Carnelian. This is my latest edition, which is the Holiday Pendant. Look at that shine. That's, so that's white gold in the vintage size. The blue agat, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, I think it's agat, and also my five motif carnelian. As you can see, my five motif is shorter than my blue ag agat version because that one I had shortened, but this one I haven't had shortened. So yeah, just slowly going to build up this collection. As you can see, I don't have that many pieces, but I cherish each and every one of them. And yeah, I'll have to give, oh, you can see that's a little bit oily. I'll have to give that one a polish. Actually give all of them a polish with a polishing cloth. So I think that looks quite good. Okay, so in this earring tray, I have my Dior earrings, so Dior, Dior ear cuff, Dior ring, Dior necklaces. These are just random. These are just some rings. I can't even remember which brand I got it from. Um, this is Chloe. Oh my goodness, I've had this Yves Saint Laurent ring for so long. I remember I loved it so much. It's, yeah, 10 years old maybe. And yeah, a couple pair of Chloe earrings. And then this side here is some of my Hermes earrings collection. So these are all vintage. That's my newest pair. And this is just some of my Hermes costume jewelry. So I'm thinking I'll put them back there. And yeah, so that's Van Cleef. This is all the Chanel, which makes the biggest part. Back there here, um, I've dedicated to all things sort of uh, silver, sterling silver. Most of those pieces are sterling silver. Is there anything white gold there? No, I don't think so. Or, you know, like a dark ruthenium color. And yeah, as you see, I don't have as much sterling silver as gold. I think I prefer gold a lot more. And the final part is, see how there's a redundant space here? I had this spare. It doesn't fit exactly, but these are just, you know, I only own one pair. These are Marnie. These are D&G with love hearts. And I thought I would just place it at the back here. Even though it's got a little bit of space here, I can just put something else there. Like, look, I can even put my, if I want to put, I got some Bottega perfume I can put there. But it's probably not that useful to put there. But you know what I mean, I could put something there, not sure what yet. If I find a tray, that would obviously be the better option. So there we have it. I actually do not have as much space as I thought. There is not going to be much room to grow. I've got only this little bit of space here. You know, I could possibly fit another earring here. Um... Yeah, I mean, I know these take up a lot of room by itself. And these are my Mim earrings. This is from my mother-in-law. This was something I had since I was a baby, a little heart. I've left this Dior earring here because I do wear that initial one quite a lot. But I was just trying to keep all Chanel together, except my sole pair of YSL, which is just sitting there. Some of my brooches and... Yeah, a little bit more space for Van Cleef earrings here. 
I might need to do this again. So just to let you know in here, so that's all the, oh, by the way, that's all of them empty. That's just miscellaneous jewelry, which I need to put away. These are just high street sort of brands. And then in here, I need to arrange this, but this is my sunglass drawer. So huge mess. And I think I'll do that next time. So that is it for this video, guys. What did you think of my jewelry organizations? I do have one, two, three drawers, so I can always move the sunglass drawer down and then replicate this here again. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any other suggestions, please let me know down below. I was actually thinking that I would have more space, but I don't, but that's okay. I think that I won't be adding too much more. I really want to focus on fine jewelry. Have a wonderful day or night guys, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Are you feeling the same way I do? Are you feeling the same way I do?